हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू माय सेल्फ इज प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर राजेंद्र देश पांडे टुडे इज अ वेनसडे ट्वेंटी मार्च 2019 थाउजेंड आवर सीरियल गोइंग ऑन इज आयुर्वेद फॉर ऑल लेट्स द मेक आयुर्वेदा नॉलेज वायरल टू स्प्रेड ईच एंड एवरी कॉर्नर नुक एंड कॉर्नर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड टू गेट फैमिलियर दिस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ आयुर्वेदा विच इज अ लाइफ साइंस which can help us to maintain the quality and quantity of our life today's my topic is properties of kapha dosha or you can say the properties of kapha bioenergy as i am always telling you human body is made up of dosha dhatu and mal that means bioenergies the medium for working of bioenergies are the body tissues and of course in the during the metabolism there must be some waste products that is called as mal in ayurveda so vata bioenergy is for all sorts of movements pitta bioenergy is for the transformation digestion metabolism and kapha bioenergy that we are going to take account today is for the maintenance of the body to give the stability to the body body tissues body organs body system to give some nutrition to each and every cell and if necessary and when necessary especially in the childhood to grow up of our body body cells muscle mass bony tissues they will continuously go on increasing with the help of kapha bioenergy now what are the properties of kapha dosha tatra snigtaha shito gurur mandaha shrakshna sandra mrudu sthiraha don't get afraid of sanskrit i will explain each and every word it's very very easy each of these property is very very helping either for the maintenance either for the nutrition or either for the growth or all each property will help in these functions of kapha dosha without these properties kapha dosha cannot maintain our body cannot make a growth of our body so which are those properties these properties of course should be in optimal quality and optimum quantity not too much excess and not too much low that is the homeostasis first property is snigtha anxiousness is always necessary to make our body tissue to grow or to maintain unless and until there is a lubrication in the knee joint your knee joint synovial fluid if it is less synovial fluid is a snigtha anxious cerebrospinal fluid is anxious that is in the brain then pleural fluid around your lungs there is a fluid all these are the part and parcel of kapha dosha remember our human body is composed of 75% of water what is that water element water element is compared with rasa dhatu and rasa dhatu rasopi shleshma vat rasa dhatu is compared with the properties of shleshma that is a kapha kapha and shleshma are synonyms the same words for the same element so remember snigdhata anxiousness is very essential to make a body lubrication to avoid the friction to avoid the degeneration that's why there should be enough optimal type of the lipids or the cholesterol in the body remember i am taking about the part and parcel giving some few examples next property sheet sheet the property that we experience at night do you understand night is very much essential to grow our body molecules to regenerate the body molecules to cover up the wear and tear wear and tear is always going on in the day to day activities and night when we sleep kapha bioenergy starts working parasympathetic system starts working it gives you the more stability it gives you the nourishment to our body tissues and again in the next day we are becoming fresh so degeneration in the day time regeneration with the kapha dosha sheet cooling properties there you can observe in the european countries there is more cooling effect that's why they are very highly built up kapha dosha predominant do you understand they have the little bit less i can say the aging process aging process is little bit slow in the european countries aging process here in india in tropical countries where hotness is more is more fast so sheetha guna is required for maintenance 
nourishment and growth of the body that is equal to kapha dosha bioenergy snigdha shito guru guru what is guru guru is a heavy guru is a nourishing try to understand it's not only physical weight our muscles they are of kapha type nature med dhatu muscle tissue fat tissue they are always having a little bit weight that weight is essential for our anti aging process more stability more quality of our life these elements are very much essential as like the ras dhatu so mouse sir may the they are more compared with the kapha dosha property when you eat enough and what you can say the holistic food then it is a guru nourishing but if you are making fasting that can make a problem for your kapha bioenergy if you are taking too much high calorie food that is excessive guru excessive heavy that also can become a problem for the kapha dosha so optimal high calorie diet or other nourishing diet is very much essential for kapha bio energy so snigdha shitah guru shlakshna shlakshna is very smooth very very smooth sticky slimming so all these mucus secretions all the glands they are secreting mucus secreting glands are predominantly kapha type of the nature mucus secreting glands are more over kapha type of the action that secretions that watery part is of shlakshana there is a difference little difference snigdha is a lipid type of the nature ghee for example is a snigdha oil is also snigdha but more shlakshana is a ghee that's why we consume we should consume the ghee inside to make the balance in kapha dosha and oil application externally oil massage do you understand that is snigdha and shlakshana so kapha dosha property snigdha shito guru mand next property is mand mand is very slow down each and every activity if it is in a little bit on the slower pace its medium of working if it is little bit cooling down slowing down then it is anti aging mand slow and steady wins the race that is the story of rabbit and tortoise do you remember childhood story so if we make our respiration control pranayam every minute 40 respirations per minute this is normal but if due to the pranayam if we make that mand slow down your respiratory rate by practice i am saying by practice under the supervision of expert then that mand what is mand slowing down of respiration in spite of 14 if you can make 8 10 12 respiratory rate per minute it will make your human life quality very good similar is my heart rate pulse rate pulse rate normal 70 to 80 per minute but the sportsman like who are playing lawn tennis ground athletes they have a slow pulse rate remember my words slow respiratory rate slow pulse rate of course physiological of course physiological but slow pulse rate that is respiration so heart rate slow heart rate is can be compared with the mand guna or the property of kapha dosha what is mand the students don't understand this is mand slowing down our metabolic rate basal metabolic rate if it is hyperactive that is hyperthyroidism problem hypo bmr that is mixed edema problem but when it is balanced basal metabolic rate should be balanced at a lower minimum level so that is the property of kapha dosha snigdha shito gurur manda shrakshna sandra mrudu and sthirata sthirata is a stability stability is very much essential for best quality of our life our all body functions should be stable not too much excessive secretion of hydrochloric acid not too much not too less so there should be sthir balanced state of our dhatus if it is balanced state we can prolong long life with the good quality so the properties of kapha dosha snigdha anchas snigdha shita cold cooling effect 
मंद स्निग्ध शीत गुरु नरिशिंग मंद श्लक्ष्म स्लिमी सांद्र दैट इज मीन स्टेबिलिटी एंड स्थिरता और द मेंटेनेंस इज वेरी मच इसेंशियल फॉर कफ दोष माई डियर फ्रेंड्स टूडे आई हैव एक्सप्लेन ए लिटिल बिट अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कफ दोष आई विश ऑल द बेस्ट टेक केयर ऑफ यूअर सेल्फ एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल थैंक यू वेरी मच